So here's my very simple uh, fuzhu or braised potato stew. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Today, Appa is going to make a comfort dish that most of my family members will love it. Now, it's basically a hong sao something something. So, we are going to cook something with soya sauce. Yeah? So, make it a stew. So, I have some uh, fuzhu here. Now, the thing about this uh, dried bean curd stick is that there are many, there are few types. Um, like this morning when I went to the wet market, this type, uh, I already asked that I actually need to cook minimum f uh, 30 minutes to 1 hour in order to be edible. And before that, of course, we need to actually uh, soften it. Now, there is uh, another type where it is meant for dessert. When you, uh, when you cook it, it will actually broken, break very easily. And there's another one time where you cook it, it will actually melt. So you need to ask the seller on uh, how, what kind is your uh, dried bean curd stick. Yeah, the dried fuzhu. Always ask how to cook them. Uh, then we have some uh, potato. Few pieces of potato here, cut into chunks. Uh, and then I have also some uh, minced meat here. Of course, I'm using pork. You can use chicken. So later, we will just mix these three together. Very, very simple. This dish is super simple, but very flavorful. The kids will love it. So I have approximately maybe 50 meat, uh, grams, 50, 60 grams of uh, minced meat here. I'm going to marinate it, give it a little bit of light soya sauce. A bit of my cooking up chicken stock powder. For those who are interested, you can get it from Malaysia, Shopee Malaysia or Shopee Singapore. It is made from 100% natural ingredient. And some sourcing wine. Of course, for those who don't take alcohol, you can totally ignore and omit the sourcing wine. So just mix this on up. Now there's one more thing you can add to this, which can make the stir frying easier later which is to add some oil. Add some oil inside later, it will be easier to stir fry. It will break out easily yeah, in the wok. Right, so first of all, you're going to add in some oil. I'm going to use some garlic oil to start with. You can use just normal oil, don't worry about it. Normal vegetable oil. And I'm going, uh, today Appa is lazy. Lah. So I'm just going to add some fried garlic here instead of raw garlic. <laughs> so you definitely can use uh, raw garlic to start with. Just, be, just take note if you are putting in raw garlic then uh, it can get burned quite easily. So once it is heated up, it must, you need to immediately uh, continue with the next step. So once you start seeing the seasoning, we can then add in the marinated pork or marinated chicken. Yeah. Then you will notice this dish will be flavored by the two kinds of oil. One is the garlic oil. The second is actually coming from the animal fat. Actually, you can use less, a uh, bit less um, minced meat from what I'm using today. Lah. I'm just trying to clear my switch. Why does uh, Chinese always add something wine? into a um, meat marination because sourcing wine will help to remove the gaminess from the wind, uh, meat itself. But I really don't know what is the best replacement for sourcing wine for those who don't take alcohol because uh, there isn't, I, I can't find any, any replacement yet, lah, seriously. If you can't take alcohol, you just forget about it. 
you'll probably put in a little bit of um, ginger yeah put in a little bit more ginger to for in this dish to help to remove the gaminess of the meat or spring onion these two will help or fresh coriander uh, roots that will also help so we are going to stir fry this to brown saute our uh, meat uh, minced meat here to brown it a little bit to give it some extra flavor For those who are very observant, you probably notice it. I'm using at least about 30% of the fat meat here and then 70% um, lean meat. So there's always a good combination between the two. So that it is not too dry, you will, you will not be too oily as well. Right, so this is after approximately about 3-4 minutes sorting. I'm going to add in some sourcing wine here. Some water. two to three rounds of light soya sauce about one teaspoon of uh, dark soya sauce more for the color you can put in some oyster sauce if you like let me uh, add in some oyster sauce about one tablespoon a bit of salt a bit of sugar so our braised broth is ready super fragrant next thing add in the fuchu stick this is the rehydrated uh, sorry uh, yeah rehydrated means it already soak, soak until it is softened And this is the potato. Some would like to pan fry their potato first, up to you. To me, it's optional. Today, our is really lazy. Actually, our is a little bit not feeling too well today. So, yeah but still have to go for the family all right my family still have to eat all right so I'm, once it is uh, boiling i'm going to close the lid tune down to medium or medium low and i shall let it simmer either medium or medium low for approximately 20 to 25 minutes I forget to add one thing. I will add one teaspoon of my cooking about chicken stock powder to make it into chicken stock. Now just now halfway, this is only after about uh, seven, eight, nine minutes. I, I, I noticed the water level is becoming very low. It keeps evaporating. So I actually added more water. Yeah. So uh, this particular uh, process is called reduce. So this reduce meaning the water will actually, the water level will actually reduce along the way. So what you need to do is you have to make sure it doesn't get dry out and then become chow ta. So you do have to add in some water and pay attention every, every about 5-10 minutes, come and check, yeah? Right, this is after approximately uh, 21, 2 minutes, yeah, 21 or 22 minutes simmering. Um, basically, it's already cooked. If now I'm going to add something which is optional, uh, 13 spice powder for those who like to have some uh, five spice flavor, but it's totally optional. Okay, and give it a few dashes of white pepper as well. If you like, you can starch it a little bit. I'm not going to starch it today. So the fish, uh, the dish is basically done, ready to be served. So here's my very simple uh, fuchu or braised potato stew. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. You can actually garnish it with some spring onion. Bye bye.